here we go. We're in Max 2010. Um, this is what we're going to be working on tonight. I hope everyone finds it as exciting as I am. What we have here is a um, particle is emitting from the um, uh, the P flow source here. And as they come out, they collide with the deflector here. And then they move through events as we set forward. Um, this is a really neat effect. We can use this as blood. Like that right there could be like a, it could be an explosion. That could be the middle of a tank that's blowing up and throwing out debris particles. Um, it could be a lot of things. Just an example, instead of this blood splatter hit here, which is what I pictured it as being, <coughs> nothing on morbid or anything, but uh, if we increase this, and instead of 20 by 20, say we did uh, 200 by 200, yeah, let's do uh, 1,000 by 1,000. Say we did that, and hit six on your keyboard, shortcut. If we, instead of from the center out, and we, the emitter doesn't stop at zero, let's say uh, 50, and we'll say, Let's turn off the speed by surface. Surface there. And we raised it up. It's out of the viewport. Obviously this one's set for uh so they, they move along the surface that we deemed But uh, I'll show you how to change all that. But like I said, it could be rain. Like th that could just as easily be raindrops. Um. All right, so let's get started. Um. Again, we'll have a good time. Studio Max 2010. Um. 2011's right around the corner. Very excited. Uh, we're gonna be doing slate and node material editing. In that version, very exciting. Very exciting. A little bit more like combustion or some of these other compositing packages. Um, so let's get started. <clears throat> 